Welcome everyone to a live episode of Savage Crypto. Here with me, Superman, your superhero of cryptocurrency. In today's video, we are going to be talking about this, Internext. Now, if you have seen my videos, if you watch them avidly, you would have seen I did actually do a small review of Internex literally a couple of weeks ago, but I don't think I did it much justice. I really said that the USP at the time was that it had a very small uh, coin supply, which is enabling greater volatility, massive price spikes, great gains. But I didn't really say a lot more than that, and I've since done more research on it. So I'm going to be applying my savage analysis, the reasons why you may want to invest, the reasons why you may not want to invest, and also my final rating out of five, and if I am going to invest, and what my strategy should be, if I do invest. So, if you're interested to learn about Internex, then smash up the likes. Let's see if we can get as many likes as possible. Let's see if we can get at least 500 likes in this stream and if you like learning about cryptocurrencies on a daily basis then you may want to subscribe to me so that you get the best analysis completely unbiased and comprehensive analysis on cryptocurrency so today we're going to be talking about internex and at the end what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at the competition winner from my price prediction video for 2022 and I'm going to be doing another winner. So all I need you to do is leave me an awesome comment, ask me a really challenging question and put your My Ether Wallet address in the comments and then I will select a winner and give that winner a hundred of my number one coin which I plan on releasing at 50,000 subscribers. And all that information is contained right here in my number one cryptocurrency long-term investment opportunity video. So, today we're going to talk about Internext, who have just recently updated their website. Before they had a website, and now it looks like they've got a much better website. It looks kind of Apple-esque, and they've actually got pages this time, rather than just one kind of splash page, really. So what is Internext? So I woke up this morning at about 6am and essentially what I saw was a load of cryptocurrencies, a load of altcoins in gr at great sale prices. You know, Bitcoin, there's been a big rally behind Bitcoin. Um, it went up to over $6,200 overnight and, it, and the market has had 6 billion influx into the actual market. But a lot of that's been behind Bitcoin and a few altcoins and rendered a lot of the altcoins at a very investable price. I got some more on this go this morning at $6.74. It's now gone up to $7.22. I also got some steam because it went down to under 90 cents. But a cryptocurrency that has gone down and gone up this morning is actually Internext. So Internex went down to $1.20 or so, literally a couple of hours ago, and then spiked up to $2.20, went up a whole dollar, and then has gone back down to $1.37 again. So this is absolutely perfect time to get into it. So what is Internex? Let me now provide you with a full and frank explanation as to what they are, who they are, and why you may want to invest. So... Internext, in a nutshell, they provide decentralized internet services. Okay, so that may sound quite vague, might sound ambig ambiguous. You may think, what the hell does decentralized internet services mean? So I'm going to make that very clear in this video and actually make you understand because I'm going to explain it in very simple terms. But going back to my video yesterday when I was talking about how cryptocurrency is going to take over the world, a big part of that is is by cryptocurrency companies using successful business models, working out there to the normal people, I suppose, people not in cryptocurrency, the ones that work like Google, Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, YouTube, um, all of the kind of popular networks right now, all the ones that are going to make waves in cryptocurrency and get mass adoption are ones getting, replicating business models that already work and monetizing them. And essentially, that's what Internex are doing. They are taking a business model that works really well right now. It's trending right now in the modern world and putting it in crypto land. So what are the benefits of uh, NXT or Internext? So their 
product, essentially, that they're going to be, they're building right now, and it's going to be released soon at Alpha, is X-Files. And X-Files is essentially private cloud storage. Okay, so storing your files on the cloud. So photos, videos, music files, apps, downloaded apps, anything that you need to remove off your computer or off your mobile to free up space, you can put into the cloud, essentially. Now, I've got a Google Chromebook. And a Chromebook essentially has 32 megabytes of internal storage. A lot of the modern computers are coming with smaller storage than ever before. And what they're encouraging you to do is put your stuff on the cloud. Now, my Chromebook works really fast. It's really efficient. It works like my Mac, essentially. And the reason why is because it's not bogged down by a lot of files. Now, with cameras these days, iPhones and your SLRs and uh, vlogging cameras and stuff, the images and video files are enormous, right? Which means that unless you've got a big computer with trillabytes of storage or a hard drive, then you know, it's going to bog down your computer, all right? So the best solution really is cloud storage, okay? Now, Google Drive have probably one of the most famous versions of cloud storage, and a lot of their computers, they're actually getting people onto using Google Drive. But the difference is with Internex is that it's actually decentralized. It's more private. It's more secure. With Google, with centralized storage options like Google Drive, like iCloud, it's more prone to hacking. Okay. These hackers out there, they're very clever. And this is essentially solving that problem. Not only is it making devices more faster and efficient. So, for instance, with my iPhone. The other week, I was trying to download the new iOS 11 and it kept on saying you can't. Your, your phone has too much, has not enough memory. So I had to delete a load of photos and a load of videos just to have enough room. And there are rubbish photos and videos, but that's not the point. If they weren't, I'd have been in a pickle. So really, cloud storage is the future. And it's working right now. It's working really well. Modern computers are actually encouraging you to put it on the cloud. So a decentralized version of that is excellent. It allows your devices to work faster, your mobiles, basically to be able to download operating softwares and download apps, whilst also maintaining your photos and videos and putting them on the cloud. So essentially, it allows your devices to be faster and more efficient. At the end of it, security is at the heart of the decentralized version of cloud storage. So with NXT's device, they base or with their X files, essentially with security and privacy at the heart of it. Okay, so they've got more superior technology to existing offerings, more superior privacy, more superior security than iCloud and Google Drive. Okay, so this is looking to be the kind of next big cloud storage software available in the decentralized world. Now, hosts, now it's going to be basically hosted, okay? So it's not going to be like with Substratum where they've essentially got a decentralized internet. It's going to be hosts, and they're going to be actually paid in NXT. So that's going to increase demand because they're actually incentivized to host these cloud storage solutions. So they're going to be incentivized to do it and therefore get paid in NXT or Internext, which is going to increase the demand. And given the supply, it's going to increase the value as well. So I'm going to come on to that more in a minute. But essentially, there's an incentivized nature to it. As Like I said, with these cryptocurrencies I was talking about yesterday, essentially adopting the business models that are working, this is in keeping with that. And that shows progression in the long term. Now, because they're decentralized internet services, they're not just going to be do, doing cloud storage. That would otherwise just be decentralized cloud storage. They're going to be doing other services in the future. So they're going to be doing domain hosting. So if you've got a website and you want to host it up in the cloud, you can. Yeah, they've also, they're also going to be opening up the ability to buy domains as well. So essentially, they're going to be like the GoDaddy of the decentralized world. Not only are they going to be like the Google Drive, but the GoDaddy as well. So you can actually buy domain names and you can host them with the Internext uh, solutions. Okay, and there's going to be more in the future. Into number six. So X-Files, the alpha release for X-Files. So at the moment, they're working on it. And uh, over the course of uh, the next couple of months, they're going to be releasing the alpha version in about January 2018. So they're going to make a version for the Mac computers, the Windows computers, and also for Android and iOS phones. And then the beta is going to be released around about April. 
2018. So I imagine what will happen as a result of that is that the market, the market news is going to push the price up from where it is right now with the news of the alpha release. And then obviously as that becomes successful, then they're going to have the beta, which is also going to take up another notch potentially. So you've got two price spikes, really, two incremental price, price spikes. And then come kind of end of May, June time, they're going to be releasing the stable finished version, hence bigger spike. Okay, so we're seeing kind of three areas where the price could go up over the coming next year. And number seven, they're currently on the minor exchanges. So they are, they've currently gone up to about $4, $4.20 something, having only been on Ether Delta and Coin Exchange. Now they're currently in talks with other uh, cryptocurrency exchanges and more than likely the decentralized exchanges as well. So they're, op they're opening themselves up for greater visibility down the line. So because they're on minor exchanges, they've currently been sitting under the radar. It's not one of been, been one of those cryptocurrencies that people are talking about a lot. But when it comes to demand, like I said yesterday, demand is ultimately the most important thing. And as this gets more visibility on other exchanges down the line, as they get agreements, then they are going to be more visible and more demand will increase. Okay, so this is a, be a better time than any to get into it because they're only listed on the minor exchanges and it's only just over a dollar. So it's currently $1.38, which is what I call um, an optimal entry point. So if you've taken my cryptocurrency course just for $10 in the description, um, the best time to get into a cryptocurrency is at the dip, not at the rise. Don't get it at its all-time high, for God's sake. What you do is you get it at a dip. And traditionally, the market claims back 60% of the latest rise, and they've done it in this case. So it's now at $1.38, where it was previously $4.27 or so. So it's currently at a great buying point, an optimal entry point to get in, especially as this literally an hour ago was a dollar more. So this is a great dipping point. And really you go into these dipping points so that it's bulletproof against the, you know, future lows. They've currently got seven developers. So they've got the founder and six developers that have Looking at their profiles on the Internex website, great knowledge, technically. Now, this is a technical product. It's, you know, internet services. It relies on code. It relies on technical expertise. And their team consists of developers mainly. Now, in the last video that I did, I said, the founder, you know, looks like young enough to be my nephew. He probably hasn't done a lot. He's only got, you know, he's only got Internex listed on his employment record. But... Having spoken to him and got some more information from him, I actually found out he worked as a marketing person for Hostinger, which is actually a European-based hosting provider company. So he's already been in this kind of area before. And therefore, when it comes to looking at the vision being implemented, the, the founder is somebody that's been from within the industry. Okay, so that gives kind of increased confidence the ability to achieve the vision down the line. And then number 10, arguably one of the most important positives is it's got an extremely low supply. Literally, it's in the six figures. There's not many cryptocurrencies that have six figure coin supplies. And the ones that did, notably Bitcoin Plus, that went from seven cents all the way up to $200. That was over 2,000 times gain. So if you put... $1,000 when it was seven cents, you'd now have over $2 million. That's just how much it multiplied. And that's as a result of having an extremely low supply. So having this low supply enables extreme volatility. When there's a small influx of, of, of money and volume going into, you know, into next, this is going to make the price spike, even with very little. If you had like ripple amounts of money pumped into enter next on a daily basis this would go from one dollar to about a thousand dollars in a day okay that just shows you the potential for gains down the line if you get in a good bulletproof price then that means even greater potential to make savage gains and multipliers so this all sounds amazing doesn't it this is all you know fantastically positive so what are the negatives <laughs> we've got to look at the negatives so the negatives of internext are they currently have no roadmap for future development, okay? So if you have a look on their website, which I'll have a look at in a little bit, they've got a roadmap for X-Files. So 
The roadmap for X-Files is, you know, they're showing the progression from January, the alpha version, through to the major release. But there's actually no roadmap on the website, nor is there a roadmap really on the white paper. And the white paper you can't access via the website, okay? So I'm going to put in the description a link to the white paper. But there is no accessible white paper from the website. So you can't really look at the future direction, you know, what they're about, and pain points and everything. But you don't see necessarily where they're going. Okay, I've, I've basically found this out from the founder. Where are you going? Where are you looking to take this? Okay, but there's no roadmap. So nothing's reflecting that at the moment. And personally speaking, when I invest in a crypto, I like them putting their promises down. Okay, if they're going to if they're going to be doing stuff and involving the product over time, you want to see they've put it down so that they stick to it. Okay, so that's something I always look for personally. Adoption. So they are going to need cloud hosts. They're going to need cloud users. Okay. Ultimately, they're taking on the big boys. They're taking on Google. They're taking on Apple. They're taking on tons of competition out there. But they're incentivizing the hosts. So this will get the infrastructure there. Now then it'll just be about the users and requiring marketing essentially to get it out there, get the name out there, get people actually using their cloud storage. There needs to be some price options, which they haven't yet put out. There needs to be some price options so you know what you're paying for, how much storage you've got for the product that you're paying for with X files, how much you have to pay for it, etc. So in terms of mass adoption, they're starting from zero and they are against big names. Okay, so this is both positive and a negative. Obviously, this is very early stage. They're unproven, which allows you to get in while they're relatively undervalued and allows you to make the savage gains in the long term. But at the same time, they've got a mammoth competition that they're up against. But if they can incorporate a very good solution that is better than the rest of them, then the marketing will just spread anyway. They're currently unproven. There's no reputation yet. Okay, Internex, I mean, they're just getting established right now. This is a good and it's a bad thing. It's a good thing in the sense of you getting involved in an early stage crypto, you can ride the way for the long term. On the other side, They've got to prove themselves. So other cryptocurrencies that I cover, like Lisk, for instance, they've been around for over a year. They've been around, they've been progressing, and they're building the name and they're building a community. With Internext, there's only very recently been an ICO stage. So, you know, it's going to take a little bit now for, you know, the cryptocurrency to really thrive, you know, for to gather a community, to gather in popularity. So at the moment, it's unproven. But this is a new cryptocurrency, so it's to be expected. They've got to start somewhere. Then it comes to the team. Now, looking at the team, looking at the team page, for instance, they've got their developers and their um, their founder has marketing experience, but there doesn't appear to be many people on the marketing bots side. They don't have many people that they can use to get the name out there. Business development, same thing. Sales, same thing. How do they get the name out there? How do they sign up clients? How do they win contracts so that this product gets spread on other laptops, on devices and things like that? So, you know, with the lack of the marketing side of things and the business development side of things, that puts an increased pressure on how are they going to deliver the vision. They may be able, be able to deliver the product, but can they actually deliver the vision? Can they make this a mass market product? Can they get tons and tons of customers? And then five, <laughs> on the other side of the equation, because it's got a very low supply, it can be subject to extremely volatile price movement, which is why it puts increased importance on getting into Internext very early and getting in at an almost bulletproof price. Because at the moment, it's much lower than it was at ICO stage. And you need to get in a bulletproof price so that even if the price drastically goes down, it's not too bad. Because when the price goes up, you make four times gain, 10 times gain, a thousand times gain. Currently at $1.38, if this goes up to $138 down the line, that's a thousand times gain. Is that a thousand? No, it's a hundred times gain. hundred times gain, which is massive if you put in just a thousand dollars. That could turn into a hundred thousand dollars. So, you know, the extremely volatile price movements and low coin supply has a good and a bad side to it. You can be extremely, you can become extremely rich from it, but you could also get extremely burnt by it. But that's the nature of it. But if you get in at a good bulletproof price, which it is kind of right now, then it disables you from making massive losses. You may make losses, but over the course of time with the alpha, the beta, the major release, going on other exchanges, you're more likely to make your money than to lose your money.
So this takes me to my final rating out of five. What do I give Internext for a fight for a rating? So I am giving it four out of five stars. It's certainly a way more exciting cryptocurrency than I previously thought. Before I thought the USP was the coin supply. Now I know that this is a potential behemoth in terms of you know, where they're going, replicating a business model that works quite well with iCloud and Google Drive, and thinking this could be the cryptocurrency version of cloud storage that we need that's exciting. Okay, something that's good incentive and has the power to multiply massively because the demand can increase for the coin quite nicely and also the, su the supply can uh, accommodate great gains other, other than something like Sia coin, which won't necessarily do that. And so will I be investing? Yes. And what's the strategy? Long term, for sure, because this is a long term product. It's got a big roadmap ahead of them, lots of products to essentially release down the line. So this is a long term buy. And even if it goes down in the short term, it's likely to go up massively in the long term. So that is Internex. So let's just have a quick look at the website right here. So this is the new and improved website. Okay, so you know, so you've got what looks like it almost looks like the Apple iOS or the Mac OS kind of interface, which looks really good. They've got some apparel here. You can join their Twitter here, email them, join their Telegram here. And then they've got their GitHub, which is obviously very important for, I suppose, for credibility. It's good to make sure that they've got proper code, code that they've developed themselves, and it's not just code they've ripped from another website or another business. Okay, so that's all important for their credibility. And then you've got the X Files area right here, where where basically it tells you what it's all about and how it's different from the competition, which is essentially safe and better. They've also got the team, so you can have a look behind the team. This is the founder behind it. So he's nominated for Forbes 30 Under 30 2018. And here's another one, a Forbes Under 30 Under 30 uh, 2017. And you can see that these guys are basically, you know, masters in computer science, blockchain decentralization experience, masters in computer science, BSc in mechanical engineering, another one, degree in computer science, uh, design and entrepreneurship, uh, actually, I think this is just a, a new addition. I'm sure this is a new one. I've only really just seen this guy. So you've got a designer here as well. So you've basically got a lot of the technical and interface expertise required to make this a big product. And the guy behind the marketing is this guy, Fran, the CEO, essentially. And he's an entrepreneur and he's come from the hosting environment. And then here you've got the frequently asked questions. So you can find more about what Internext is, more about the X-Files. Da, 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 da. <laughs> and more about the token itself and how the tech is superior. So that's mainly it. So I've taken you through essentially everything right there. So all I know, so now what I'm going to ask you guys is, are you interested in investing in Internet? What do you think of what I have presented to you today? Do you think this has the potential to be a huge cryptocurrency in the future? Let's have a look. There's 589 people watching. Smash the likes up. Smash the likes up. 131 likes at the moment. Get those smashing going. I'm going to add to it. This is gold. NXT is awesome. Yes. Yes. Wow. There's a couple of no's. Yes. No, no. I don't know. Millie is actually here. Mill. Yes, yes, yes. There's quite a few yeses here. Let's have a look and see where it is at the moment. Let's see if it's gone up at all. These things normally go up when I... Oh my holy shite! Look at that! That's gone up to $3.24! My god, this has tripled essentially. This has tripled. What the hell? So this is essentially a three times gain if you got in, nearly a three times gain if you got in at one dollar. My word, that is unbelievable. Now everybody's going to say, hey, Superman's a bump and dumper. Look at that, that's insane. That is absolutely incredible right now. Nader bought at 90 cents. So mate, you've just, you, you've, you're up around the four times gain area. That is insane. 
insane gains. That's insane gains. And literally, if you look at the volume, 70,000 in volume, and look at that. You know, if this was in the hundreds of thousands or millions, this would just go. And this is going to lead to a huge FOMO, guys. So basically, this has already spiked up to, you know, where it was flipping. Oh, that's insane. That is insane. Right, let's let this one grow for a little bit. <laughs> mega pump, mega pump. Superman made it again. So, anyway. So let's now, let's now do a competition with it. Let's look at, uh, let's look at the video, the last video I did, which I really enjoyed doing, my cryptocurrency price predictions for 2022. So smash the likes up, guys. Smash the likes up in anticipation of the winner. So I am going to get this link. <clears throat> I'm going to go to my random YouTube comment picker thingy. Is this my random comment picker? Yes, it is. So I'm just going to get rid of that because that looks ugly. Enter the URL, load up the comments. Da, 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 da. 388 comments. That's just pathetic. Guys, comment more. Comment more on my videos. So smash the comments, guys. If you want to be a winner in the next competition, if you want 100 of my number one cryptocurrency, which I think is going to spike after my 50k video, then get yourself commenting and put a decent comment, a decent question. Challenge me, for God's sake. And then I will pick a winner and I will send you 100 of my number one token. So we've got the video. Now we need to pick a winner. Let's pick the winner. The winner is Alper Gondiken. Oh my God, this looks like a big one. Do you think that due to undumped Bitcoin golds who are waiting for the replay protection like yourself, the altcoins might recover even more in the next week or so? On the other hand, it might not be the case because people who hoarded Bitcoins before the fork might have already spent their Bitcoins on altcoins since replay attack on Bitcoin is much less problematic than a replay attack on BTC. What do you think? <sighs> Right, after finally reading that comment, I'm just going to copy this so that um, so that I essentially don't forget. So, do you think that due to undumped Bitcoin gold, altcoins might recover even more in the next week? Well, I think that this, th this might be a more relevant question if we didn't have Segwit2x coming. But given that Segwit2x is coming, the cycle's coming round again. The unpredictability that we had weeks before Bitcoin Gold is coming up again. So what we had before Bitcoin Gold is essentially we had people rallying Bitcoin and then it slowed down and then another rally and it slowed down and then another rally. And what happened literally in the last 24 hours is another rally. It went down to 3,800 and now it's gone right back up again. And this is going to lead to fluctuations big time in altcoins. People are going to be, essentially, they're going to wait for Bitcoin to go up and then they are going to buy some altcoins while they are drastically low like I did this morning. And then altcoins are going to go high. They're going to get some rally. And then Bitcoin's going to go down. And then that's going to get a rally again. And then the cycle will continue and continue. So I think as far as the replay protection is concerned, that has protected Bitcoin gold from a massive dump. Because basically I anticipated a massive sell-off. And it has gone down like nearly four times where it was. So, you know, I think that um, the lack of replay protection, I think, just brought this this coin right down. And I don't think many people really cared and just sold it anyway. I think a lot of people bought uh, Bitcoin gold and sold it as well, which has also helped for it to go right down. The circulating supply isn't even there. So, you know, I don't think it's necessarily that's going to make any impact. The replay protection is going to make any impact now because it's all Segwit 2x now. I think as more people get the replay protection, once that actually does happen, if it ever happens, then people are going to sell it off. And look at the money coming out right now live while we are speaking. The money coming out of the market. Maybe it's being pumped into Internex. Let's have a look and see if this has gone up anymore. <sighs> oh, man, my reputation has pumped. No, it's gone down slightly. It's gone down slightly. So my reputation as a, as a pumper, apparently, is uh, is probably very much intact right now. So let's see if there are any more questions. I don't want to make this too long because essentially that will um, bore people when they look at the replay. But smash the likes up. Smash the likes up and make sure that you comment and put your My Ether Wallet address in the comments so that you can win next time in my next video. Red Pulse, a lot of people are anticipating that's going to go high. 
And I imagine it probably will, purely on demand, not because it's actually really any good. So, you know, it's basically a research coin, a research platform ordering, you know, ordering the information needed for Chinese research. Okay, so it's not the most exciting product. There's no chain link. It's no, um, it's not certainly not my number one coin. It's no invest fee. There's no steam. It's not exciting really at all, but it has got value and it's a Chinese market. So there's every likelihood this will go up um, massively, but I don't think it's necessarily huge. Qcoin is the one that are hosting it, which I think is great. And Qcoin, I think, has also kind of been a good, good, um, oh, it's gone down a little bit. It was at $1 a couple of days ago. This has gone down a little bit. B3, I don't know what's happening with B3. I know that I have got over 80, 800,000 coins. And this has gone down even more. This has gone down, I think this has gone down. 0 .00, yeah, this has gone down, I'm sure. I'm sure it was at 0 0.003, and this has gone down to 0 0.001. I don't really, I don't really care because at the end of the day, the, this this community staking pool is amazing, and then the value can be achieved later on with their roadmap. So that's it, guys. I'm not going to ask any, I'm not going to answer any more questions because this was really a savage crypto about about Internext, and you can see basically what people's reactions to Internext is as a, as a live. You can see live as a result of this video, basically what people's uh, attitudes are. They've they've made some gains and they're dropping it now. But I don't see this dropping much below the $1.38 and I see this going right back up again. So there we are. Anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed that episode of Savage Crypto. I hope that this has put more meat on the bones for Internext and educated you more and seen whether this is a good investment rather than just something that's got an insanely low circulating supply. Um, so I hope this has really helped you. And I hope that this um, lets you know also what to look out for in the future when you are looking essentially for some cloud storage for your mobile devices and for your computers, which I certainly will be uh, in the future. So guys, thank you for watching this episode of Savage Crypto. From me, it is lights out, it is all out.